guys, welcome to I Emily, and today we're going to talk about facts that will mess with your perception of time. But before that, to my new backdrop is pumpkin pie, apple pie, pumpkin. I go every Thanksgiving this month, and I was born on Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna be 22. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be 22 on the 25th. Yeah. So. I'm gonna have a party for me. So let's. Let's get to it. So. The first one is John Tyler, um, America's 10th president, was born in 1790. He has two living grandchildren, so that means... So John Tyler was 63 when his son Lion Leon was born in 1853. Lion was 71 when Lion Jr. was born in 1924 and 75 when Harrison was born 1928 and they are still alive and kicking it. They keep on kicking it. I mean it's crazy. No, another way to think about this. There are people who can look at you today in 2021 and say, Yeah, my dad was eight years old when the war started. World War Two? No. World War One? No. The Civil, the Civil War. I mean, it's crazy. John Tyler's son was eight years old when the war was starting in 1816. Number two, Mary Malone and Queen Elizabeth were born the same year. So they were both Born in 1926 and once met each other at the premiere of the Battle of the River Plate in London Lincoln Square. Malone was there to accompany her then husband Arthur Miller. You can see her the receiving line gets to shake the young queen's hand. Wow, Mary Miller was beautiful back then. And, but, but Mary Miller perished in 1962. And she was so young. So it's cool that Mary Malone and the Queen of Elizabeth were born in the same year. Number three, Harriet the Taurus, who died in 2006, has seen Charles Darwin in person. Harriet the Taurus 
was reportedly collected by Charles Darwin during his 1835 visit to the Galapagos Islands that his part of around the world surfing and British transported to England and then brought, brought to her final home Australia by retired captain of the Beagle. However, some doubt was cast on the story by the fact that Darwin had never visited the island that Harriet originally came from. She had an estimated age of 175 by the time she finally died at Steve Irwin's zoo. So she, she was 175 when she died in 2006. I mean, that's, that's cool. That, she, she met Charles Darwin. In 1835, that is so cool. Number four, woolly mammoths were still alive while the Egyptians were building the pyramids. So, 2,660 BC. So. Scientists have determined that woolly mammoths were still roaming the earth until about 6050 BC. The giant creature could be found on an island off the coast of eastern Russia at the time. Meanwhile, the oldest of the Great Pyramid of St. Egypt, the Pyramid Doge, I can't pronounce it, was constructed between 2006 to 2611 BC. Meanwhile, man was, was busy doing some time of the most incredible structure ever made. Woolly Mammoth was doing, doing their thing. So, so Woolly Mammoth was still alive while Egyptians were building the pyramid. That is, that is mind blowing. That is Mm. Number five, Oxford University existed for hundreds of years before the Aztec Empire was founded in 1428. So the Aztec Empire began the last of the three I can't pronounce it. No, no, ha, a, 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 I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Say, say. These three say states rule in the area in, in and around the Valley of Mexico from 1428 until the combined forces of the Spanish Constantor and the native allies on the Helen Cortez to be them in 1521. Asset culture had rich in complex mythological and religious traditions as well as ach achieving remarkable architectural uh, Authentic accomplishment. Meanwhile, in England, Oxford University was already well established. It had no day of foundation, but their evidence of teaching at 
bought by 1096, making it the oldest neo country in the English speaking world in the world, second oldest neo country in continuous operation. It grew rapidly from 1167 when Harry Henry the Second being English student from attending the University of Paris. Wow. So Oxford University teaching kids in ten ninety six in the African Empire was Found in 1428. So it's for for 332 years. Wow. That's Okay, number six. George Washington died in 1799. The first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1824. George Washington never knew dinosaurs existed. George Washington died peacefully died peacefully at home on December 14, 1799, aged 67 years old. A soldier, a soldier, former, and statesman, as well as the best president of the United States under the, the U.S. Constitution. Washington will compel can commonly refer at the father of his country by his companions. He not like in the, the time they know that dinosaurs existed because they were not specifically recognized as such a, until 1824 when Bush Naturalist William Buckland first described Megasaurus, Natalie Gardner to be the first dinosaur to be scientifically named. Can you imagine, like, oh, can you imagine that, like, dying in 1799 and the first dinosaur fossil discovered in 1824. Come on, baby, let's, let's go. Sorry. Sorry, baby. Holly Bailey need to go. Excuse me. Number seven. Nintendo was found when Jack the Ripper was still on the loose in eighteen eighty nine. So if you don't know about Nintendo it's then it's a Japanese game company with video game legends such as Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda, the Pokemon character. It's actually much older than the video game era. The originally Main playing cards called 
Hanna Butter. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. And the company was founded way back in eighteen eighty nine when the infamous Jack the Ripper was created. Happened on the streets of London. The true identifier of the Ripper had never been discovered, and he was a prime suspect in the murder of undefined woman known as the Pigeon Street Torso, because that's the only man of her. This has happened only weeks before Nintendo. Came to sister, so so Nintendo was originally made playing cards, and like before they made like legends like Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda, the Pokemon kid, the fans. Number eight, Ian Frank and Martin Luther King Jr. were born the same year, in 1929. One of the most discussed Jewish victims of the Holocaust, Ian Frank, gained fame postponedly with the publication Diary of a Young Girl, which she documents her life. In hiding from 1942 to 1944, during the German occupation of the Netherlands and World War Two, it was one of the most widely known books and has been the basis for several plays and films. So, so she died in 1940. Five, so that makes her fifteen or sixteen. And Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement. From nineteen fifty four till his death in nineteen sixty eight, King is most most known for events civil rights through nonviolence and civil disobedience. That's in his Christian beliefs in the nonviolence as the result of Muhammad. Gandhi helped inspire both of the symbols of resonance. Was born the same year, nineteen twenty nine. So, so another one of nineteen twenty nine was Christopher Plummer and um Barbara Ward. Wawa, <laughs> Baba Wawa. <laughs> That's from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I, uh, number nine. Today's oldest living tree, a bristlecone pine, was already a thousand years old when the last woolly mammoth died. Will you like to visit a living thing still alive today? That was the time of the woolly mammoth. It turns out you can. There's a the world's oldest tree is the Great Basin Bristol Pine, located in the White Mountains, California, and they are five thousand. Sixty-seven years old. To put that perspective, isolated population of 
Holy Mammoth of Wrangle Island did finally go extinct 4,000 years ago. With the small island, the Arctic Ocean, surfing as a sanctuary for the great beasts, forced from the mainland by humans and the climate change, not being fun. So, that's crazy. Number 10. Star Wars came out the same year as the last guillotine execution of fans. So everyone was, was filing to see Star Wars on May 25th, 1977. At the same time, the Future sci fi was wowing audience around the world. The meaningful practice of death by guillotine was still taking place in France. Well, Han and I also know as the pimp killer was beheaded for the torture and murder of a young woman. This is the, what the last use of the guillotine in France. Nobody has been executed by using aiming So, the last guillotine execution would take place as the same year as the first Star Wars film came out in 1977. That is cool. Cause Number 11. By the time the pilgrims made it to Plymouth Rock, there was a palace of the governors in New Mexico. So people often assume that the first Europeans to sail in the United States came landing on the pilgrims at Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts, and ship sailed from England in 1620. However, Spanish explorers have been in the southwest for almost a century at that time. And Sissington began building the palace of the governor in sense of faith, already a driving settlement. So when people say, like, speak English, this is a make point out to this. That cool. Number 12. Swiss women got the right to vote to vote the same year that the U.S. drove a buggy on the moon in 1971. Switzerland is often a scene of the not if not the most progressive nation on earth. It comes to surprise that women were granted the right to vote until 1971, 65 years after Finland became the first European country to do so. By that time, NASA had already went down the moon and was driving a moon buggy around. In the meantime, Switzerland had caught up massively in terms 
women's rights and the gender gap, making a number eleven was well ahead of the young things at number forty-five. So, so Switzerland was was gained the right to vote the same year as the U.S. drove a buggy on the moon. Yes. Number 13. The fax machine was invented the same year the first wagon crossed the Oregon Trail in 1843. The original fax machine, the electric printing telegraph, was patented in 1843 by Scottish inventor Alexander Bain the same year that a thousand people set off west for Oregon forming a huge wagon train on that was the Oregon Trail. This set for Tom for Westwood is Benjamin the Young Saints and the beginning of the Great Migration. So before 1843, people were writing letters and I mean that's so crazy that that the fax machine was a bit to the same year as the bus wagon to cross the Oregon Trail. That's crazy. Number fourteen. You can take the last, the London Underground to the last. Public hang in the UK in 1868. Hang used to be common punishment in the UK and wasn't abolished until 1868. Michael Barrett was the last person to be executed this manner in Newgate Prison, London, in front of the large crowd of people five years earlier in eighteen in eighteen sixty three the first journey to London underground to a point with a station to operation close by the new gate prison it was the tire feasible that many wanderers would take the two to go see the Go watch someone to get get hanged. Wow. Mm -mm. I mean, number fifteen. Princess Diana and Mother Teresa died. Days apart in 1997. Princess Diane and Mother Teresa died just days apart in 1997. Princess Diane was killed in a car crash in Paris on August 31st, while Mother Teresa died on September Fifth, after a struggle with declining health, she died in India. Received a state funeral from the India government. Gratitude to for her service to the poor for all religions in the country. I mean, I mean, what the trees of soul. Princess Diana when she died and she died on September 5th with declining health I mean hmm. 
poor Princess Diana. She was so young. I mean, I, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Number 16. NASA was exploring space by the time that scientists could agree on point tectonics. 1967. So, while Alfred Ming proposed his Theory of continental drift in 1912. His ideas were not taken seriously by many geologists who pointed out that there were no apparent mechanisms for continental drift. Suspiciously, they did not see how continental rock probe could prove much denser rock made of oceanic crust. Winger could not explain the force that drove continental drift in his and it did not come after until his death in 1930. It wasn't until 1967 that the daily plate tunnel was set up by the scientific community by which China NASA and the Soviet Union were always born well beyond the Earth's crust. They were launching rockets into space and preparing to land on the moon. Number 17. Prisoners arrived at Auschwitz just Days after McDonald's was founded. So, I did not know that McDonald's was, was founded in 1940. That is, mm, I thought McDonald's was, was founded in the 50s, like, while McDonald's is traditionally associated with the good times and of course on 50s America, the very first restaurant was open much earlier on May 15, 1940, just five days later, the best prisoners arrived at the Auschwitz concentration camp, which is now in Poland. Wow, so, so McDonald's was was founded uh, in 1940. Oh my gosh. Mm. Eighteen. The last no will of the Civil War bed. Mandy Hopkins She died in 2008. That's the same year as Barack Obama won his first personal election. So Mandy Hopkins married Civil War Baron William M. Cantrell in 1934 when she was 19 years old. She said it was probably that drove her to the, drove her to marry the former soldier of the Confederate Army who was age six at the time. Hobson passed away in 2008, and Lexa Arkansas saw age 93, which meant that Civil War Baron Willow was still alive when President Obama was the first 
African American to serve as the president. So that's crazy. She was the that lady that died in two thousand eight was married to civil war baby. Number 19, Harper University did offer calculus classes for the first few years after the school was established because calculus hasn't been a big thing yet. Modern calculus was developed in 17th century Europe by Isaac Newton and Godfrey William Lisbon. Apparently, a reject of first published around the same time, but elements of the appearance appeared in ancient Greek, then China, Middle East, and still later in medieval Europe and India. Harvard was established in 1686 and named for a first benefit for claimant John Harvard. Harvard is a United States oldest institution of higher learning in its history, influence, and wealth. Her mayor for the world's most prestigious university. Calculus was off the circle yeah, for the first few years for awful reasons and have been recognized yet. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I know Harvard University. It's in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the last one is Ecstasy was invented the same year as the Titanic sank in 1912. So the unsinkable Titanic sank in 1912, going down to the North Atlantic Ocean four days into the ship's made a voyage from Southampton to New York City. In the same year, Barnabable Giant Merck was interested in developing something that stopped abnormal bleeding one chemist in time I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name. This is like MDMA to void a patent by Rival Bayer. Bayer Bayer. The drug of no particular interest to Merck at that time. And was only came back to research the substance summary over the next few years. It wasn't until 1975 that sight of the effects of the drug been taken to be taken seriously and reconnect you but thereafter through personal networks of psychotherapists, psychiatrists, you the psychotherapist and yuppies. So so in 1912, ecstasy was a bit in the same year as the Titanic sink. I mean, so that's it for all for today. We're going to talk about more.
historical facts that will mess with your perception of time. So, if you if you want to see more, all you got to do go go on my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you later. Bye.